today we shall discuss about mirror indices and what is the importance of the mirror indices in crystallography so first we consider this lattice points lattice point we already know in array of point which complete the crystal structures array of points in space so this is called lattice point so we can consider that any crystals can be made up as infinite number of parallel equidistance plane the plane may be oriented in any directions but may, there must be equal and equal distance and parallel so the crystal structure can be made up as infinite number of parallel equidistance plane passing through lattice point is called lattice plane the orientations of the lattice plane in the crystals can be described by three integers h k l this is called mirror indices h k l this is called mirror indices note one thing if we write x y z this actually denote a coordinate but this does not mean a coordinate this only three integers h k l so we can write into in parenthesis excluding comma excluding comma the second question is how to find miller indices <coughs> how to find miller indices first find the intercept on three axis divided it by unit translational vector 3 take their reciprocal multiply each of them by lcd which mean least common denominator then we find miller indices and we write in the a parenthesis first find the intercept on the three axis x y z divided it by unit translational vector means a b c the value the modulus of the three translational vector divided intercept divided by the modulus of three translational vector a b c take the reciprocal multiply each of them by least common denominator factor we find miller indices so this is the procedure of finding a miller indices suppose we have intercept on x y z we have intercept 6 4 3 divided and unit translational vector is 1 so divided by unit translational Six, four, three. This is one, one, and one. Take their reciprocal. Reciprocal. One by six, one by four, one by three. Least common denominator is twelve. So two, three, four. Two, three, four is the Miller indices. 
two, three, four is the Miller indices. The procedure is very simple and very clear. But one question, one can ask the questions if why we find this type of procedure, but why we follow this type of procedure, uh, find the intercept, take their reciprocal and multiply each of them by least common denominator factor. What is the problem? If we consider a plane 2x plus 3y plus 4j equals to 12. So this is the intercept x by 6, y by 4, z by 3 equals to 1. So we can construct this plane by this by the regular method 6 4 3 unit we can construct the plane so what is the problem this plane cannot can cannot specify the orientation of the orientation of the crystal plane suppose we consider a unit cube suppose we consider a unit cube of length one unit This is a unit cube of length 1 unit. This is z, y, x. So, if we construct this plane, suppose 6, 4 and 3 unit, this would like this. So, the plane is outside the crystals. So, the plane is outside the crystals. But if, if we take the reciprocal of the uh, system and we get three Miller indices in the form two three four in the form two three four. What actually HKL mean? We can see that what actually we will first call it as three integers HKL, but HKL have a proper meaning. H means number of intercept per unit length. along x axis k means number of intercept per unit length along y axis l mean number of intercept per unit length along z axis so h is 2 means number of intercept along z x axis per unit length here is the unit length 1 so intercept is 2 so this length can be divided by 2 times so the intercept actually half point is half y axis the intercept is <coughs> this length is intercept by three times so the intercept is one third and z axis it is intercept by four so this plane is looks like this so the plane this plane which can be outside from the outside of the crystals can be maybe inside of the crystal so to describe the orientations of the plane it is important to find the Miller indices because all the planes all the planes may not be in the crystals but if we find the Miller indices of the plane then we can construct the plane inside the crystal that's why we follow this procedure take the reciprocal multiply each of them by least common denominator factor and so on in in our next video we shall this we shall discuss and apply the process of miller indices and construct plane construct plane in the unit cube cell and we also know about what is mean by miller indices of directions so this is only an introduction class and what is the importance of the middle indices I will de describe in this class. In the next video we shall discuss about uh, the example through on based on Miller indices and we construct the planes with, uh, with, uh, with the help of Miller indices. Thank you so much.